హలో ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ పింజల రామకృష్ణ వ్యాస్కులర్ సర్జన్ అట్ అపోలో హాస్పిటల్ జూబ్లీ హిల్స్ టుడే విల్ టాక్ అబౌట్ డీప్ విన్ థ్రాంబోసిస్ బ్లడ్ క్లాటింగ్ ఇన్ ది వెయిన్స్ డీప్ విన్ థ్రాంబోసిస్ పల్మర్ యాంబులిజం ఆర్ టుగెదర్ నోన్ యాజ్ వీనస్ థ్రాంబో యాంబులిజం దిస్ కెన్ రిజల్ట్ ఇన్ మోబిలిటీ అండ్ మోర్టాలిటీ దిస్ ఈజ్ నెక్స్ట్ టు హార్ట్ అటాక్స్ అండ్ బ్రెయిన్ అటాక్స్ ఇన్ కాజింగ్ ది మార్బిలిటీ అండ్ మోర్టాలిటీ in the hospitalized patients how to diagnose it how to prevent it how to treat it in three terms how to diagnose it generally we see the clinical symptoms in terms of leg swelling pain discomfort in the lower limbs from ankle to the knee joint level to thigh level the swelling increases depending upon the extent of thrombosis this is confirmed by color doppler scanning which is going to detect the blood clotting in the veins in the lower limbs in the inferior vena cava in the iliac veins sometimes the patients also develop pulmonary thromboembolism the blood clots in the legs spread to the abdomen and to the chest into the lungs causing pulmonary embolism this will result in breathlessness low blood pressure and so on so both the conditions are harmful to the patient so once we detect it by angio pulmonary angiogram we should give appropriate treatment usually anticoagulation is the crux of the management but sometimes if the blood pressure is low in pulmonary embolism mm. we need to consider specialized treatments known as pulmonary thromboembolism thrombolysis thrombolysis dissolves the blood clots they are called special drugs thrombolytic drugs these drugs will dissolve the clot and prevent further formation of the clot normally for dbt anticoagulation is sufficient anticoagulation is injection injection form on tablet form available the modern treatment with the oral tablets is known as no oral anticoagulants no year oral anticoagulants n o a c no year oral anticoagulants will facilitate the easy management of these patients once you treat them we should see that they don't get it back and to prevent the recurrence of the deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism we may have to give the anticoagulation for a little longer period of time sometimes 6 months 1 year maybe 2 years in some few conditions we may have to give it for life long then how do we prevent this condition in the beginning itself we prevent this deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism by electively putting the patients on anticoagulation a certain group of patients are at high risk of anticoagulant thrombosis and those patients will be given anticoagulation mechanical measures such as compression stockings to prevent deep vein thrombosis those who are traveling for long periods of times also should be given anticoagulation or if those patients had already a history of deep vein thrombosis or a family history genetic reasons they have tendency to develop thrombosis such patients should also be given anticoagulation to prevent thrombosis and complications related to thrombosis in the veins thank you